Hey, good evening. It's me. You haven't seen me in a couple of days except for shorts, and um, it's because I got in a car accident and a little bit injured. So I have been taking it easy for the last, uh, since Monday. And um, I'm fine. Got hit broadside, but um, I'm fine. I just got a little beat up and I need some days to recover. But while on my butt, I've been knitting because, you know, you have to knit. The sewing has been pushed aside for the knitting. And I took up needles and I started on the Arne and Carlos peacock scarf pattern, as many of the people who were on the cruise with me last year did, have done. And um, from the chatter on the Facebook page and Arne and Carlos um, addressing some of the problems, I thought this would be a good opportunity to show you some of the tricks that I use to get through lace knitting. Um, we at, um, at Twisted Pico, we like the lace. That's our, you know, our main focus is lace in all forms, knitting, bobbin lace, tatting, so and so on, so on and so forth. And so I thought I'd give you a quick tutorial on how I make sure that I can get through these patterns easily and without mistakes. And I will tell you, I got sloppy today and just was swatching and messing around and didn't bother to dig out my stitch markers and didn't bother to dig out my highlighter tape and didn't bother to mark the pattern on the diagram where it's important to. And I now have one extra stitch. So, um, that's why you do what you know you need to do. And I learn, I relearn this lesson every single time. So don't be like me. Do what you know you're supposed to do. I'm going to flip you around now. I have strategically covered up the pattern so that you don't see it all because it is a paid for pattern from Arne and Carlos. I'll put the link below if you're interested in going to get it. I'm knitting it out of a pink cotton, a Mion cotton, because I'm adjust, I'm not following the pattern. I'm following the motif, but I'm doing fewer repeats because I want to make another turban hat for Jean, David's mother, and um, I decided a lace one would be fun. So I'm going to show you what I'm doing. All right, here is the diagram. I've strategically covered it up because this is a paid for pattern. Here is my little sample that became, became some extra stitches. I've cast on 31 because I want a six inch wide strip just under six inches, in fact, and then because I'm going to twist it into a turban. But there's the beginnings of the motif out of this peachy yarn. Um, what I needed to do is go to your repeat, highlight the repeat, highlight the entire repeat, because if you're going to start covering up your pattern as you follow the rows, guess what's going to disappear? You don't know where the repeat is if you've covered all this up. You can't tell where the repeat is. So highlight the entire repeat section. If you've got some, if you're using software, use your software and let them let, get your software to let you highlight. Otherwise print it off, grab a highlighter pen, highlight. Get out your stitch markers. I have seven, I need seven. I'm gonna place a stitch marker evenly distributed across this pattern. I'm gonna put the first one after three stitches because that's where the motif's widest point is. Then I'm gonna go four stitches, four stitches, I'm gonna ignore that, four stitches, four stitches, four stitches to the repeat mark. Make sure and mark a stitch marker at each end of your repeat. And it's usually a good idea to make that a different marker. I didn't bring those with me, so I'm gonna use the same. But my chart is highlighted to help rem me remember when I have to do a repeat. Then I'm gonna mark here, four stitches on just to keep it even, but I need to remember, see how there's some funny stuff up there. I'm out, this one stitch will be inside the lace pattern, but I'm not, go, I'm gonna go ahead and just to keep my memory easy, I'm gonna place the markers four stitches apart all the way across. I'm ignoring Arne and Carlos's bold marked lines. I've also added some of my own, so ignore those, but there are some bold lines. I'm not paying attention to those. I'm putting a stitch marker every four stitches. So one there, three stitches, and then the remainder are every four stitches. One there, one there, uh, one, two, three, four, one there, one, two, three, four, one there. Um, then there's a repeat, so I will have an extra set of those three. I'll put another stitch marker in, one there, on my knitting, of course, and then one here. 
Now, the other thing that I'm going to do with this is I'm gonna get out my highlighter tape. And we sell this in the shop and you can get it other places as well. Highlighter tape will last you forever. And what it is a restickable tape and you can see through it. I place mine right under the line I'm working on. So my first row, I probably wouldn't put the tape on. And then once I finished row two, I'll go in and I'll put the tape right up to row four. And then when I do my backside row and return to four, I know that's where I left off. Whatever you pick to do, you can put it across the line you're working on, you can put it under, you can put it over. Just be consistent. So pick it and stick with it. Okay, highlighter tape, highly recommend it. Now I'm gonna get back to my knitting and watch a movie. Um, I hope uh, you're having a fun June and I hope that you're safe and not injured. Um, I'm on the mend, I'll be better soon. I'm gonna get lots of knitting done, I think. I won't be doing much gardening. Um, make sure and subscribe to the channel so you can keep getting updates. There will be more tutorials like this. So ring the bell and um, keep watching. I know Kelly's doing a Sashiko along. I'm gonna be working on this lace scarf as well as the dress when I get back to it. Um, plus road trips coming to Tus or road trips coming to uh, Reno. I'll be driving with two friends to Reno in a week, maybe two weeks, one and a half weeks, something like that. No, we're leaving on Saturday morning, maybe a one week from now. I don't remember. It's on my calendar. I'll go look at it later. Anyway, ring the bell so you know what's happening. Um, and you get to see the shenanigans we get up to while we drive. Probably not many. <laughs> anyway, I will see you on Wednesday. Bye.